Hello, this is Brian Castle with ServeTheSong.net. Today I'm going to show you how to convert a lossless AIFF file into a high quality MP3 file. So I have this AIFF file which I exported from Reason 4.0 from a production that I did. I'm going to import this file into iTunes, go to open with iTunes, and that launches the application and starts to play the song. Uh, we see here it's an AIFF audio file. The size is 36 megabytes, so it's pretty large. What we want to do is slim down the file size. Uh, we want to create an MP3 out of this, but we want to make sure that we don't lose too much sound quality. Um, most MP3s out there are over compressed and you lose some of that dynamic range. So we want to create the highest quality MP3 we can. Uh, what I like to do first is set the info so that my library is organized here. Press OK. And what we want to do is go to iTunes Preferences. And under General Preferences, you want to go to Import Settings. Now if you're using an older version of iTunes, this may be uh, under the Advanced tab. But in the latest version of iTunes, it's right here under General Settings. So we'll go to Import Settings. Change Import Using to MP3 Encoder. And by default, the setting should be set on high quality. And what we want to do is increase the, the quality here. And higher quality will bring you up to 192 kbps. But we want to go to Custom where you can actually set it up to 320 kbps and that's what we're going to do here that's the stereo bit rate at 320 kbps and we'll leave everything else the same press ok and we are finished with our preferences here and so now we're ready to create the mp3 file what we're going to do is right click Go to create mp3 version. Excuse the noisy street here. We have the copied version here. It's an mp3 audio file. The file size is 5.5 megabytes. So now you have a high quality mp3 file that you can send in an email or post on the web. Um, it's, uh, it's a manageable file size now, and at 320 kbps, it's, it's a good sounding MP3, pretty high quality in comparison to the average MP3 that you'd see elsewhere on the web. So I hope this has been helpful. For more articles, tips, and videos, visit servethesong.net.